Hi everyone. Well, as you can see, I've uh, jumped on the Insta360 Go bandwagon uh, because I saw Nurk's video recently and uh, he was talking about how they've really improved this and made it quite useful for FPV. And I thought the uh, footage that he was getting looked really cool and I wanted to try it. And so here it is. And indeed, I tried it today and uh, it is really cool. I like this thing quite a bit. So basically, it's just a small little um, stabilized uh, action camera, basically. And originally, you could only record for up to uh, one minute, although you could do longer. Um, time-lapse recording, but it could only record for like one minute, and for FPV that really isn't very useful. But recently they've added a five-minute recording mode, which is perfect for capturing a, an FPV flight, uh, with the idea being that it's mounted on the outside of a quad and getting plenty of airflow, which keeps it cool enough for the uh, longer recording. Although the capacity is a little bit limited after a few flights, you'll probably have to copy the footage off or you're going to run out of uh, space. But anyway, this is the uh, camera. Really neat, really great software, which I'll talk about a little bit in a second, and just weighs about 20 grams, so you could even run it on a micro. And this is the uh, basic kit. It's about 180 bucks. I got it from Apple, but uh, you can maybe find it a little bit cheaper elsewhere. So it comes with just these little mounts. There's like a clip here, a little basic tripod mount. They're all magnetic, so it clips in quite easily like that. And this is a uh, kind of like a set of AirPods. It's a charging case, but also how you connect it to the iPhone. Or if you have an Android, you can connect it with a micro USB cable that it comes with. And this is a, one of the more interesting things that it comes with. It's like a little necklace pendant, like a medallion, and you can wear this and this is also magnetic. And at first you might think this is silly. This thing could just be hanging, flopping around around your neck. But actually this is, uh, you actually wear this under your shirt. And with this under your shirt and this over top of it, it actually stays quite stable and makes a great platform for, you could even like record like uh, your stick cam or something like that. I think it would work well. So one of the great things about the software and the app that uh, this camera uses is that it does a, a great look, it does a great stabilization on the footage. But it also allows you to uh, reframe it so you can make it 16 by 9 or even 9 by 16 like in a portrait mode or even in a one by one square format. So it's got a lot of versatility and I think that a lot of fun options to play around with. So the frame I chose was a, uh, an Airblade EX because I had this idea of mounting it, uh, mounting something on the uh, little standoffs that go between these carbon plates. So it's an Airblade EX, the Beta FPV toothpick all in one and then just a uh, nameless RC VTX and XM Plus receiver. And then these are Ishin uh, 1105 5200 kV motors. These are just the little cheap motors from the Ishin Twig, which actually work pretty well in this context on 3S. And these are Amax uh, 3 by 24 inch props. First time I've tried these together, and this is actually quite a nice little setup on 3S. I was really happy with how this is flying as well. And this is the little 3D printed mount that I designed in Fusion 360. Real simple, just, just has a little area that the standoff goes through there, and you can mount it on top. And so you can just put the camera in like this. And if you want some extra security, you can put some rubber bands around it. Or in my case, I just like to run this little small Vel Velcro strap around it. Maybe I'll add a little slot to hold this strap or something. So I'll just cinch it down, and you can still see the status light there. So that actually ended up working pretty well. So this quad uh, dry weight before the uh, camera is about 65 grams, so pretty light in itself. And then with the camera and the little 3D printed mount, adding about another 20 grams, so it's about 85 grams dry weight. So not bad at all, and just flew it on about a 500 milliamp 3S. And I think the uh, footage from this current turned out really well. It wasn't uh, I didn't see any really bad vibration or jello. One of the cool things about this, looking at this footage, is seeing the uh, quad move around in relation to the horizon. So I wanted it back here, and you can, yeah, you can see the uh, the front motors and the props, and it looks uh, really cool in the stabilized footage. And so I think I'll just show you um, uh, just actually the first flight I did with this. I think it's about three and a half or four minutes, and also play the uh, sound that this recorded because it does record audio as well. Anyway, having a lot of fun with this uh, Insta360 Go. Probably be doing some more flying with this and more videos about this coming up. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next one.